Ross, Shane Filan, and more recently, with three solo albums to his name, his career goes from strength to strength. Shane, you are most welcome to UTV Live. Thank you, thank you. Great to be back. Thank well, you very much. Before we chat, I think we should have a look at Unbreakable. Why not? Falling apart, falling apart. Oh, Shane, that just looks glorious. Now, a lot of stars, they go off to far-flung places, but yeah. no, you stay at home in Ireland and use the family. I did, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, Killian, yeah, my, uh, my nephew, my godson as well, he's uh, acting in the video, um, which is pretty cool, but it was in British Bay, uh, which is amazing. I'd never been there before. Um, I was at a party like there one night. one of the night. longest Beautiful. speeches I've ever seen. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Something yeah. like you see in Malibu or something in America. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, and we got a gorgeous day for it too, so it was meant to be raining, so we were very lucky. Well, the album... Yeah, As if yeah. by luck we have it here. This is a beautiful album. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's getting a really, really, really good reaction, yeah. which is great. Um, because obviously it's a collection of love songs and stuff, and you don't know how people are going to react to it, but, you know, the, the fan base seem to be loving it more than any of my albums so far, which is amazing. Because you put it out there on social media yeah. saying, what are your favourite love songs? Or yeah, what well, like... Songs. Absolutely. I thought, you know what, the fans are the people who are buying the album, so why not ask them? Use the power of social media to actually, you know, make a really good decision. Um, so, yeah, I asked them, and the song that popped up straight away that I loved the idea of was Eternal Flame by the Bangles, which is an amazing it's song. It's one of my favourite songs, and, and it's, you've done a gorgeous job. Yeah, thank it. you. It, it, and it's one again that I was a bit kind of scared of doing it in a way because it's such a famous song. Obviously, all these songs are famous, but... That was a really big memory of mine growing up, um, probably about five or six years old when that came out. And I remember seeing the video on TV and I was a big fan of the band. Yeah. Walk Like an Egyptian was probably the biggest one I loved. Um, but Eternal Flame is just a beautiful song. Did you have the posters on the walls? I didn't, know. I didn't have posters on the walls, but okay. it was one of the first videos I'd seen. So I remember kind of for the first time looking at it going, that'd be so cool to be in a band like that. Um, it was before I even discovered Michael Jackson. So it was, uh, the Bangles definitely kicked off my, uh, my musical career, should I say. Did you get any weird requests to... I did. Well, I got, I got asked to cover lots of West Side songs, which was... Well, bizarre. But it, just kind of, <laughs> it, it is when you've already done them and kind of been in the band but um yeah no, obviously fans just wanted to you know hear new versions maybe of the songs but um yeah i got asked a few different mad rock songs and uh -huh. proper heavy metal songs and there was a few few again, gaff requests but you no, never know exactly because i mean sound of silence last year for uh, dis uh disruption was yeah the, the disturbance that they were it was brilliant yeah so you, you the thing about these albums you can you know you're not trying to change the song you're not trying to do anything too different to it. You're just trying to put your stamp on it and trying to do a, a tribute to the song. Um, like Heaven, Brian Adams, like one of my favourite songs of all time. I wanted to sing that since I'm probably six years old. Mm -hmm. um, and now I get to sing it. And it's a real privilege to sing these songs. You know, even um, This I Promise You, a Richard Marks song, uh, uh, which is really cool, actually, because Richard Marks tweeted me last night, um, which was amazing. I, I, I didn't even know he heard the song, and he, he said, you've done it justice, mate, and oh, he was really lovely. happy with it. And, um, it and was really thanks. cool. I'm such a fan of Richard Marks, yeah. and that was like that was pretty cool to get that. So yeah, it's nice to I know saw that. I him in the Albert Hall years ago. He was just amazing. Yeah, that's and, and the really amount of back catalogue of songs, even like Dance with My Father, yeah. Luther Andros. That's another song. Mm. Um, well, listen, enough about Richard Marks. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> Sorry. it's all about you because on <laughs> October 22nd, the fans can hear this album plus. A few Westlife standards as yeah. well. Oh, absolutely, yeah. No, the Waterfront I'm playing again, and it's like my fifth or sixth time to play the Waterfront now in the last few years, and it's an amazing venue. And Belfast is always that extra bit special. It's the last date of the UK and Irish tour, so I'm finishing it in Belfast. Um, so it's going to be party, party central in the Waterfront. But um, yeah, like I, I, of course, with this album, I, I'll do maybe half this album. But obviously, I do a lot of Westlife songs as well because it's such, it's a huge part of my history. Yeah. Even being in the studio, even being back in Belfast, I think of all the times I've been. You know, all the stuff we've we done over the years. Um, so, yeah, like, I love singing, you know, and, Uptown I mean, Girl and... Oh, the, I mean, you are, as you say, doing it. And the boys, I mean, it was such a big part of your life. And, Absolutely. And uh, we've had Keith and Brian on. They're doing oh, the right, boys' okay, yeah. life now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think a few of the guys have gone along to see them. So yeah. you still keep in touch. I do, actually. I haven't seen Brian in a long time, actually. Um, but I saw Keen, actually, recently, a couple of times recently. Um, and we had a few beers and stuff, and they came over for a barbecue with Jody uh, with the kids. Because our kids, obviously, they're, you know, they're starting to grow up now. They yeah. don't really know each other, and they don't know that their two dads was in Westlife. You know, uh, they don't understand it just as much yet, but <laughs> they do now. Oh. 
Yeah, school, the, school beckons, of course. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Cole's actually a bit old. She's 12 now, so oh she's, that's, that's about four years ago. Uh -huh. But, um, yeah, they're growing up fast, but, you know, they're they're my whole world. Like, I, I... Well, listen, it's an absolute pleasure to have you. I could chat to you forever. Yes, but unfortunately, thank we've you. run out of time. Best of luck with the album, although I don't need to wish you.